All right, Josh Johnson here. Let's talk my favorite topic, of course, weather. And uh, a lot to get to and a lot to talk about. We'll go straight to the maps here. This is the high-res rapid refresh model. This is a short-range computer model that is usually pretty good. Um, it brings us down upper 30s, low 40s around sunrise tomorrow morning. So this is around 7 o'clock in the morning, and it's, it's chilly, uh, not bone chilling or anything, but a cold start to the day. But watch how quickly we warm up. By noon, most of us are either 70 or within sniffing distance of it. So uh, that is the news there. It's a quick warm up there as we go through the day tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. Wednesday's a beautiful day, and we'll end up in the mid-70s. Uh, then Thursday gets here. This is Thursday morning, and uh, you will note here not a lot going on, but we do have a few stray showers scattered around South Alabama Thursday morning. So we'll put in a small rain chance uh, to sort of account for that. Here's Friday morning. Uh, there's a front that stalls out north of here, and that front um, is going to de determine where the rain sets up and, frankly, where it's a little colder. Uh, and I, we think it stays over North Alabama. The uh, model guidance tends to agree with that. Here is Saturday afternoon. Um, so scattered showers around at times Thursday morning. A break and then potentially more rain Thursday night into Friday morning. Uh, then Friday afternoon is mainly dry. And then Saturday, Sunday, we get into this messy pattern where we can't really completely get rid of the rain. But you, you see what I see. Most of South Alabama is dry for that matter. Most of central Alabama is dry. There's some scattered showers up in the Tennessee Valley and then northward from there up into the state of Tennessee. So this, again, is for Saturday. Notice, too, it is much warmer over the southern half of the state. We're in the mid-70s. Here's Sunday, and it's warm. Upper 70s, maybe 80 in spots Sunday afternoon. Uh, a few scattered showers. You'll notice the main batch of rain stays north, but some of these sort of, I call them nuisance style showers because they don't really, it doesn't rain enough to help with any drought or dry ground, but it, it rains enough to just mess up your plans a little bit. Uh, these will be light and spotty. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, we can't rule out a quick burst of rain, but overwhelmingly, uh, the odds are sort of stacked against it. So uh, again, this would be for Sunday. Uh, now, as we go to Monday, that front begins to come south a little bit. So that means the rain chance we think goes up Sunday night and into Monday. Um, notice, too, up over North Alabama, north of the cold front here, temperatures are down in the 40s. South Alabama is still in the uh, 70s. Our area Monday we think would be kind of right on that line. So we're going to drop the number for Monday. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, we're up close to 80. We think Monday is a cooler day, and the farther north you live, the cooler it gets. Some of us could stay in the 60s all day on Monday. Uh, the northern half of the state could stay in the 40s and 50s all day Monday with rain falling. Tuesday's fairly similar. The front settles in. Um, we think more rain. It's, cool. it's colder Tuesday. We've got 68 for Tuesday, but just understand if it rains as much as the model indicates here, even that could be too warm. We may have to adjust Monday and Tuesday downward even more if we keep seeing data like this. Um, it'll all depend on the precise location of that cold front. And last but not least, we'll wind things out eight days from now. This shows that impulse moving east, uh, surface low forms along that front. But it, it, what that does is sort of pulls all that out of here. So Wednesday, if, this, if the GFS is right, Wednesday would be sort of a colder day, but drier weather would resume as well. So it's a complex forecast, and a lot of it's going to come down to precisely where uh, that cold front ends up. So we'll obviously be keeping a close eye on the exact position of that front in the days to come. As always, appreciate you watching and listening. Hope you all have a wonderful uh, rest of your evening. We'll have, I'll have another video published here on Wednesday, of course. Uh, a reminder, our Inside the Storm Prepare Now special is airing. Uh, that will air this Saturday night at 6.30. So we invite you to be a part of that and to uh, watch that. It's all about preparation, things you can do now ahead of severe weather to make sure you're ready. And we've got the Alabama Weather Guide Project. Uh, here is last year's weather guide right here. This is the 2020 version. The 2021 version is at the printer as we speak. It will be um, released to the masses uh, on March 3rd. And so be paying attention and watching for more details on where you can pick up your copy. Everyone have a wonderful evening and take care.